Alright, today I thought I'd take a look at why Elevons get paid out so much in forums. Um, this is MiG-29 version 2 from rcpowers.com. One thing you will notice with this plane is it's got very wide Elevons and the whole reason for that is to do away with some of the problems that you have when you normally just fly on Elevons. Elevons are simply your ailerons and your elevators mixed into two control surfaces. So you've got your elevators where they should be and the roll is also there. All right. One of the normal problems with this is your elevons are only about this wide. Okay. When you think of ailerons, they're out on the wingtips and when they move, that's a lot of leverage to roll your plane. So your elevons don't have that leverage which makes them lazy on the roll. Now, the other thing people don't like is the way that it's mixed into just two control surfaces. If you've got elevator, you've got plenty. If you've got roll, you've got plenty. But when you start doing this, right, you've got only half the amount of roll and only half the amount of elevator, which makes the plane a little bit lazy. A lot of people don't like that. And it does take a little bit of getting used to, but for beginners especially, it does tone the plane down a bit to make sure that it's not throwing itself all over the sky and makes it a little bit easier for you to control. Now, with these uh, mid-motor mounted planes, what you'll notice is your prop wash is going over your elevons, which gives you vectored thrust. Now, a lot of people turn around and say, well, why shouldn't I make elevators and ailerons to do the job to get rid of the problem with the elevons. The reason is, if you do that, you will lose your vector thrust on the roll. Right? Now, the way a lot of people get around that is they put the elevons on for the vector thrust, and then they'll either take another channel and put on the ailerons to help with the roll, or they'll run a second push rod from the servo arm to the ailerons. What that does is make your ailerons function exactly the same as your elevons. Is there any reason that these are bad? On some planes, yes. On some planes where you don't have the vector thrust in particular, um, your elevons are out here. If you're not moving, it's like a regular airplane. You've got no control. Okay? And without the ailerons and the elevators, you've got less control. So the slower you get, the worse they become when they were never really that fantastic in the first place. But with these mid-mode mounted planes, let's fire it up and take a quick look. Because of that vector thrust, plenty of pitch. Now even with these wide elevons, it doesn't roll like a drill, but it's still enough to play with and have fun. It's still perfectly flyable and it's still more manoeuvrable than your general store-bought planes.
plenty, plenty to play with if all you're looking for is a little bit of fun and you're not really worried about having everything Mickey Mouse and as good as it can.